Alright guys, uh, welcome back to part 2 of our journey in doing the Canadian Computing Challenge. So this is problem J2. It's a junior test of 2022. And this problem is called Ferguson Ball Ratings. So Ferguson Ball is just a game where players are given a star rating based on the number of points they score and the number of fouls they commit. So for each point they score, they're given 5 stars. For each foul, they're uh, we minus three stars and um, they're going to input a team where let's say there's three people so this first guy is 12 uh, 12 scores and four fouls the second guy is 10 scores and three fouls and this third guy is nine scores and one foul and if your point uh, if they get 40 points or more uh, we add them to a counter here so in here all three players got 40 points so we put three and if everyone uh, gets 40 points, if everyone in the team gets more than 40 points, we add this plus here because it represents a goal team, which means that all the players have a star rating greater than 40. Okay, so how are we going to dissect this problem? Let's, let's just look at the input first. So this is my setup, idle as usual, and I've printed this uh, hello just to see if everything's working. So let's try that. And it is working. So. Uh, we have to take an input first of all and this input is going to show the number of players so let's just do players equals int input okay so we're going what we're going to do next is each player takes in uh, the number of scores and the number of fouls and uh, they did say that uh, both the number of points and number of fouls are non-negative integers and Wait, where, where does it say that? The number of points they score is always greater than the fouls they commit. So we don't really have to worry about any anything weird where it's a negative score or, or anything. So for i in range players, so let's say there's three players, they're going to run this loop three times. We're going to ask for their number of uh, scores and their number of fouls. So scores equals int input that and your number of fouls. What do I keep mistyping? Fouls is also going to be uh, an input that we take. So once again, we can find their total point count. So points is going to be uh, for each score, they get five. Five times scores plus, oh, we're going to minus actually, minus three times fouls. And I'll just use brackets here, just so it's very clear what's going on for you guys. So let's save that first. So this is the number of points for this player. And we're going to see if it has more than 40 points. And let's just use a counter here. If it's more than 40 points, if points is more than or equal to 40. Wait, actually not equal to, just more than 40. We're going to add one to the counter so we can do that with count plus plus and that's it that, that, that's it really and there's also this right immediately followed by a plus sign if the team is considered a gold team and a gold team means that all the players have a star rating greater than 40. so uh if count is equal to the number of players uh we can there's an easy way to do this actually let's see Let's make a variable called this gold, and we're gonna make it an empty list, an empty string. I mean, and we're just going to print uh, the count and this gold. Um, we can do this if the count is equal to the number of players, which shows that if every player gets about forty points because of this, we can just set this gold to a plus symbol, right? So. This should work. Oh, invalid syntax. Well, sometimes that doesn't work, so I'll just do that. That should work. So let's try this input. 3, 12, 4. 12, 4. 10, 3, 9, 1. 3, 9, 1. And you get 3 plus. Actually, uh, there shouldn't be a space there, so I'm just going to do that. Okay, let's try again. 3, 12, 4. And three and one. Oh, this gold. 
count should be a string. So yeah, so debugging just close that. Debugging can be a bit difficult sometimes. Let's try one once more. Ten, three, nine, one. So that's three plus exactly what the output is. So let's try their second input where it's just two players. So uh, we'll try again. Two, eight, zero. 12, 1. And that's exactly what the output is. So, alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.